Hey, I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com and so let's go ahead and take a look at Gummy ROM for Samsung Galaxy S3 and yes, you guys are in for a big treat as this ROM is running on Android 4.4.2 KCAT for the Galaxy S3. Um, pretty awesome, it works pretty darn flawlessly, only a very, very very few minor bugs and this ROM can definitely be used as a daily driver uh, no doubt about that it works just great everything works just about microphone you know camera data Wi-Fi all that major stuff is gonna work just fine um, there's only a few minor issues and it's super minor that you might not, not even ever notice it you know <laughs> so that's pretty awesome uh, let's go ahead and dive into settings as you can see and we'll go all the way down to about phone and I'll show you we're actually running Android 4.4.2 KitKat right there um, so as you can see right there little K right there if I think if you hold it down, yes, you get Android 4.4.2 right there. So it's nice, of course. And then you got Gummy RAM, of course, you're running on this. Um, so everything is works, even Google works. Um, I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi or my Google account, um, so it's not going to search anything, but I'll show you it actually does launch. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. There you go. I had to do it a second time. As you can see, it launched without problem. And once you're connected to Wi-Fi with a Google account, you can get the Google now on this side of the screen too. I'm not connected to my Google account, so it won't work. Uh, pretty awesome. Everything works just flawlessly. Of course, you're running on a Google Play Edition um, launcher too. Uh, let's go and dive into settings. And of course, you have Gummy settings right here. So you have interface, theme, super user, and about. Uh, we'll go into a Gummy interface real quick and take a look at this. Um, so you have options for status bar. And I already went ahead and changed my color and battery icon so I change it to red and I change the icon to circle but you can go and change it to your preference so you can change the percentage now and now it's percentage so it's pretty nice and you can change the color of the percentage to go and change it to blue it's going to change it to blue and now it's a blue one so that's pretty nice I like that uh, we can go back out of that um, nothing too crazy about notification drawer quick settings you can go and change that too um, so you can do toggle setup and change the order of this so if I want battery first or if I want settings first actually I can change toggles and uh, okay that's all about it and I think yep and close it and I believe now yes settings is very first now uh, so that's awesome I like that Oh, I don't want to back out of that. Let's go back into interface and take a look at some other things. Um, hardware keys, you can actually change the functionality of the actual hardware's hardware keys at the bottom of this. Um, we can take a look at this real quick. And we can go and select back long press and let's say power off. So now if I hold this down for a longer time, my screen turns off. Pretty neat. You can go and change this for any of the three keys at the bottom. Um, so that's nice. Um, navigation keys, I believe this is for software keys. Um, I think if you enable it, nothing really happens, so I believe you have to reboot your device to actually make it work, um, but I believe I'm right. I should be right about that. It's software keys at the bottom of your screen. Uh, no real need for it on the Samsung Galaxy S3, but still nice to have, undoubtedly. Uh, lock screen, you can enable widgets and maximize widgets, so I'll show you that real quick. As you can see now, the clock is full screen. If I tap on this, then it becomes smaller, and of course, you can go and add any widget you really like to, of course. Just go and install a widget from the Play Store or a pre-installed widget that you have and you can go and apply it right there. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, power sounds. Oh, you also have CTR screen on and off. Um, so right now, if I go and show you when I turn off the screen, it gives you a nice tube effect and you go and change the style of that too. Uh, so if you want a vertical, you can change that too. Now it's going to close like that. And boom, so that's pretty nice. Um, I always get a lot of like, oh wow, that's pretty cool um, comments on videos for people asking me how to get that. And a lot of people who just use my phones, you know, at school and all that, they always ask me, how'd you get that? I want to get that. <laughs> and I was telling them, you kind of have to be rooted, you know, most of the time. There are some apps on the Play Store, I believe, that can do the same. Uh, but for this feature, you have to be rooted if you want in, in settings too. Um, and of course, my favorite is performance right here. Let's go and tap on OK, and then processor, you can go and change this up right here. So this is where you're going to have a lot of fun, you know. Um, so you can go and change the maximum CPU frequency, and you can go all the way up to 1836 megahertz. Uh, it's pretty good for a Samsung Galaxy S3. That's pretty awesome, guys. <laughs> um, I like that. Of course, if you can go and change the CPU governor, so if you want to conserve, conservative, on demand, on demand, power save, you know, po uh, performance, all that great stuff. You can change the maximum to a lower frequency so it doesn't waste as much battery. Um, or you can go and boost it up if you are a heavy gamer or just, you know, lagging a little bit, which you really shouldn't be. Um, I haven't seen any lag on this whatsoever from how long I've been using it. Um, so it's pretty awesome. 
And that's pretty much it. Gummy RAM for the Samsung Galaxy S3 and it's going to be supporting almost every variant. Cricket, Metro, US Seller, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile and Verizon. Um, so it supports every variant except i9-300 and the LTE version of the Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. Uh, which isn't a big deal, so almost everyone is supported. Um, if you guys want to go and download this, which I would recommend if you want KitKat right here, right now, with everything just about working, link down below. We can go and download this RAM for the Samsung Galaxy S3, and GFs are also included there, so be sure to flash that to get all the Play Stores and all that. Um, one thing to note before you guys actually go and flash this RAM, make sure you do update Clockmart Recovery and TWRP Recovery to the la latest version, or the RAM is not going to work. Um, so just make sure you uh, update that recovery as KitKat does require you to uh, get the a new recovery to it work for it to work. Uh, so make sure you update the recovery uh, so you don't run any problems. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks down below. And if you guys did enjoy this round, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. I really do appreciate all that support you guys do give me and I'll catch you later. Peace.